What's up, nerds? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about fishing gimmicks, scams, however you want to think about it. There's always these crazy like rigs, techniques, and lures that are dropping every single year. If you go back in time, any year you look at, there's going to be some crazy rig that came out. Think of the INU rig, right? The I N U R I G. However you say that. However thing. you say it, the snake lure, right? Is anybody fishing that anymore? No. Why? Because it was gimmicky and it just nobody Not cared great. to do it. Also, it took a lot of work to make. You needed like 17 different straws and like glue and all this other stuff. Point is, it's a great example of what we want to talk about today. So how do you tell if a lure that drops on the market or a new rig that hits the bass fishing scene is legit or a gimmick? And we're going to chart it all out for you in our opinion, comma, spaceman. We're going to share with you guys how we feel about this. And you can let us know how you feel about it in the comments below. Real quick, checking your microphone. It's on. Okay, cool. <laughs> I would also say it's guaranteed that I'm going to put something on the gimmick side. And in the comments, someone will say, say we're wrong. I caught a fish on it. Look, things happen. All right. Fish make mistakes. They're just like us. <laughs> hooks, hooks catch fish. <laughs> They're just like us. <laughs> So at the end of the day, we know anything with a hook can catch a fish. That is absolutely true. Is so, it worth buying these lures? Well, let's though? define. We yeah, let's about. define legit. So if I'm defining legit, legit to me is Sanko. works consistently. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's it. <laughs> like it just has to work consistently. It can be expensive. Yeah. It can be cheap. It can be a lot of effort. It can be a lot of different things. But if it catches fish consistently, no matter where you are in the world, if it catches fish, it's legit. Consistently, consistently. it is legit. If it's a gimmick. It's going to have it's, a couple of very specific yeah. properties, but the most important one, the most important one, is that it doesn't work consistently. So mm -hmm. it will, not, it doesn't fish the way it's intended, uh, nearly enough, and it doesn't catch fish with consistency. If it, if that's the minimum criteria. Yeah. Now, some other criteria is it's expensive. It's mm -hmm. like super expensive, and you don't get the payout for it. Meaning, someone made a lot of money off you. I.e., that's where the scam part of this comes in. Uh, or if like it's mostly packaging. Like if you're paying. $15 for a bait that should cost $3 and nine of it is just packaging and shipping, that's a scam. Boo. It's not great. So that's going to be the general criteria for legit and scam slash gimmick. So we're not going to go through a thousand examples today. We're going to go through about a dozen. And we also want to point to certain categories as well. So in this video, you're going to see lures, you're going to see rigs, and you're going to see categories like as seen on TV and fishing subscription boxes. Oh. Yep, it's gonna happen. All right, so let's get into it. Our first contestant on the <laughs> it's show is the biggest gimmick in all of fishing history. It's a freaking skitter lizard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first up, this is actually our <laughs> our anchor. <laughs> this is an anchor. So this is, to us, one of the biggest gimmicks that we've seen. And decidedly so. Like, it's, it's so close, expensive, yeah. too. 14 to $16 is, like, the retail that you'll see these things at unless yep. they're on sale, which they're always on clearance now. Another hint that it's a gimmick. Yeah, that's actually a great thing to point out. So if a lure is constantly on clearance, it's probably a gimmick. Why? It's on clearance because nobody will nobody buy it. Nobody was buying it. Right? And I mean, if you look at this thing, it's absolutely insane. Not only is it a large topwater rig, but it's also a two-parter. We've got that just classic Lunker Hunt foam back here mm -hmm. and a hollow body up here. we got a stinger hook that pokes through the body. you got these legs coming off the end. you got this curly tail. You know what? They had, I feel, maybe the startings of an initial good intention that just completely dissolved into it's, nothing. It spiraled. It Quickly. spiraled like this tail out of control. <laughs> and the problems with this rig are innumerable, right? First off, the price point was insane. Airball. $15 for a Lunker Hunt like topwater. There's no way. Second of all, it doesn't swim as intended, at least. It ours. doesn't do anything as intended. We, you can't pop it. You can't roll. Every time you retrieve with it, any type of speed, it just rolls. It rolls upside down. You're mostly retrieving like this. And when you retrieve like this, those hooks oh, are grabbing everything on the surface. So terrible. we could not, through multiple cut and reties, could not get this thing to swim the way it's supposed to swim. This one right here doesn't fish as yep. intended, doesn't fit, catch fish consistently, is very expensive, is Anchor. mostly packaging. This is on the garbage slash gimmick slash scam side. And as always, if you guys disagree with our opinion, too bad. <laughs> Man. Make your own video. So there's an example of a gimmick lure. Let's do a couple more gimmick lures. Whoa. So 
This one, oh boy. this is the West End hollow body swim. Some folks are going to say, I love this. And oftentimes those folks are coming from Europe where West End is absolutely killing it. On Crushing gigantic the pike. They make specifically like pike targeting baits. Big pike, big perch. That's what the UK is known for. And they're cool. And they're, you know, it works there. It's great. Another example of West End, I'm going to put two and one here would be Danny the Duck. Old Danny boy. Old Danny boy. <laughs> I've had a dozen or so of these over the years. So <laughs> in the States to us, first of all, you're going to say bass eat ducks. Bass eat. They do. They know, do. They do. Pike eat ducks. This is a good pike hunting bait. I totally hear you. And it definitely can. And you can go watch North Dakota Yak Angler go and just slam them where he is. You can watch him catch he anything, is. though. He'll catch anything on anything. He's great at it. If I'm buying lures and I'm looking at these, immediately, if it's a animal like this i'm like yeah. that should set the alarm bells off yep. like why could a bat so, a bird a lizard my question is what's the yep. difference between this and a frog the only difference is like it has the head and it has the little feet and those are not doing much or anything to the action the, the problem is it's, it's actually worsening the action so a frog is going to be much better at clearing cover walking than clearing this cover is. doing all the just things that you want a, to a soft body top water to do yep. so this is just like a not as good version of a frog yep and just for just clarity's sake here, we've done multiple videos fishing these, intending to catch fish, putting it where it should be to try and catch the fish. We've recorded that. It's on our YouTube channel. You can check it out if you want to see history. that. History. We've, we've actually used these a lot. The other thing. I use this a ton because it came in a box and we tried to do a box slam. And the thing about this is look at the angle of those hooks. Yep. So I think the, the biggest thing here is if something is intended to be a different version of something else, so mm -hmm. in this case a frog, but it can't do the different part better than the original, it's Stick kind of a scam. Original. It's just not as good. Just go for a <laughs> yeah. frog. So this is trying to be a frog. It's not as good as a frog, uh, and it doesn't do anything hyper unique. Where I've seen, though, ducks do really well, or I think a duck could do much better, is something that has a, is a top water um, bait with a bill that got, works on a steady retrieve and gets that side to side action. You can't get that like a like an actual duck swimming. You can't get that action with this type of bait. I've tried it; it just doesn't work. So hard, hard body duck baits would do better than this, just, in our opinion. Totally. So if you want the duck, go with that. This skimmer over here. Maybe <laughs> this just this side. Both of those are just this side of, of the, the skitter lizard, lizard because they do actually fish in a way that a fish would be like mm, maybe yummy. Uh, and so, if you're in the UK, they slam. And they're just much larger. <laughs> species yeah. that you're targeting which kind of makes sense so yeah. larger than even a really big bass so this this is just this side of the lizard a bunch on one end of the spectrum let's show you some baits that you would look at and you'd be like i don't know is that a gimmick maybe it is but definitely are not here's one right here this is the bill lewis stutter step and you're looking at this and you're like that's a banana <laughs> with chrome paint <laughs> Cr you're not you're not wrong with this cranana uh but this is a topwater walking bait that actually is it walks itself. It's a fantastic topwater walking bait. So you look at this thing, it's got a crazy shape. It's also got like just really hard angles in here. And I can't this, explain this why tail. it's so good. Yeah, I mean, it basically, <laughs> it scoops really well and this tail really helps it get that side to side action that you want with a topwater walking bait. First glance, you look at this thing, you're like, that looks dumb. It's What's a very different topwater walking bait. Second thing you would do is you'd fish it and you'd be like, oh, wow, this thing's kind of amazing. It does what it's intended to yep. do. It fishes with consistency and it fishes with an action that draws strikes. Mm -hmm. I think between this and the KVD uh, Sexy Dog, yep. probably the two easiest baits to walk. Top water walkers. I, I would definitely put it up there. Uh, and oh, man. catwalk, very easy to walk to. The cat Six Sense catwalk. The Six Sense catwalk is another one we'd put up there. They mm -hmm. just walk really well by themselves. And it's it's kind of tough when you're first getting into topwater walking baits to get the cadence down of your twitching, to get that consistent walk at whatever retrieve speed you want to have it at. It takes some practice. This is one of those baits that will like do the work for you. So it's a great starting place for beginners with topwater walking baits. Yep. So that's a great example of like first glance, this is a gimmick. Seems like it could be a gimmick. But it's not, right? So and how how can you tell? So this is where you get the how can you tell. We talked mm -hmm. about what to look for. You can't do it unless you fish it, or you watch someone else fish it. So you can look go, it up. <laughs> you can go to yeah. You can go to like a, a video of ours maybe that features that, and you can see it being fished and see people catching on it with consistency. And all of a sudden that answers the biggest question. Yep. The other side of that equation is what's the cost and what do you have to pay to get that. 
Does that make it a gimmick? Not necessarily, but if you're paying for a bunch of things like packaging, mm -hmm. or you have to buy a whole subscription box to get the one bait, and you have to get nine other fake baits, that might put it in the fake category for you. But this one, the stutter step, is actually gonna anchor us on the far side of legit, the antithesis, the exact opposite, the bizarro version <laughs> of the crap baits. It is also Bill Lewis, so it's coming from a company you can usually trust. Legit. It's pretty affordable, the thing works. When you look up these videos, one pointer will throw you guys is one, make sure that person isn't sponsored by the company of the bait. I'm gonna be leery about their opinion on that bait. Doesn't make it unlegit or fake or not, scammy, not necessarily. but it should raise like a little yellow flag. Yeah, it is. It's a beige flag going up. Warning card. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just be cautious of that. Another point I would throw out there just to be cautious of, and it's not that everybody's doing this, yeah, it's just yeah. that it can happen. If there isn't like cast to catch footage, did oh, they where, so, swap where someone the bait? cast it and yeah. then there's a break and then they caught a fish on that lure on the other side of the And now the, the lure is hanging from the, the lip of the fish. Perfectly, where you can see it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not saying any, I'm not, definitely not naming Pointing names. no fingers. Pointing no fingers. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying I would be a well, little, little yellow flag there, right? Okay, another one that you would look at and be like, this is stupid. This, this is the most egregious one. <laughs> this, is. this feels fake. Chase Baits makes a lot of baits, a lot that actually are totally They make a skitter lizard, the dragon. They it do. actually works and it's But it works. Oh, it bangs, it's hard though. body, it swims the way it's supposed to. It's a wake bait, not it, a hollow body it, bait. But it works. So Chase Baits a great example company. They do make some gimmicky baits. They're gonna show up. They're gonna show up, but this is one of their examples where I'd say this looks like a gimmick, but totally isn't. It's yeah. a cicada bait, it's tiny. You throw this on a spinning rig or a BFS setup, you're gonna be happy. It actually has a hollow body tail section, <laughs> which is insane, and these little tiny trebles with the tie treble. Walking baits have been around for a while, whether you look at the jackal pompadour, you look at the head and crawler, uh, the crawling baits, they do work. And this is an example of one that looks like a gigantic version of, well, actually it's a normal size version. Yeah. This one looks like a cicada and it's a, a pretty good recreation of one. That's and it gonna catches be fish a lot. Right on the uh, spectrum of legit. Push it towards the legit end, maybe two thirds of the way across the board. Here's one that's gonna cause people some angst. Toss it. Prepare to get Throw a spider at Prepare me. Prepare to be triggered, fisherman. <laughs> this is maybe close to the skitter lizard in terms of epitome of baits that are like, you look at it and you go, that is absolutely a gimmick. It's a gosh dang spider. Here's the deal. We don't consider this a gimmick. No, I don't. We actually have caught an epic amount of fish on these baits right here. Now, it's not like my go-to frog bait. I'm not grabbing it no. all the time because it is a hyper-specific type yeah. of hollow body bait. This is a finesse frog. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. You have to throw it on the right setup. You really need more of like a medium to a medium heavy, not a heavy stick. If you throw this on a heavy stick, you're gonna be mad. It's really hard to cast without that. It's got fine enough hooks even if you get the half ounce version, that you can throw mm -hmm. this on a medium, medium heavy and you're still gonna stick those fish. Um, this thing has excelled for me in the gaps between pads, right? In the gaps between the slop. If you get to where you would normally fish a frog and you see an open water section, you plop this baby in there like a good, just plop it on down and then you let it sit and then you twitch it, these legs, they're crazy. Look at these legs. It creates a lot, of, crazy. It creates a lot of disturbance and it you does. get blow-ups. It's also really good. Let's say, so where I, the only place I would ever use this now is mm -hmm. in a lake because these get destroyed. That's the only thing they that do sucks. Fall they get wrecked, apart, which is why it can't go to the legit it's side. It's not going to be like dead in center. the middle. This is dead. I was thinking dead in the middle, right up the middle. So, uh, but if you're on like a lake that only has small fish and you mm -hmm. just want to get some top water action in, this Dude. is the this is the perfect place for that because a lot of fish will eat it. It does fall mm -hmm. apart. They're not free. They're always on clearance. But it's not at but the skitter not, lizard level. But it's not the skitter lizard. Yeah. It does do what it's intended to do. So right in the middle for us. And now you can't say that we hate all Lunker Hunt products. Or that I love the spider more than anything. Or I that, because it's up the middle. We're gonna speed rank a couple frogs <laughs> while we're on the frog topic here. So first off, here, it's a fruck. The frickin' fruck. You might be like, what the fruck is that? And you'd be correct. <laughs> uh, so the fruck was fished on a good topwater day against a gamut of frogs. Mm -hmm. We were doing a big frog day. It's on the channel. You can go back and check it out. Uh, we fished like from mega bass down to the cheapest scum frog. We were fishing everything. Everyone caught except for the fruck. The fruck was the only frog that didn't fruck and, and catch it, a fish. And, it, and it's structured almost like a, ah, 
It's similar structured to this. like a crappier version of yeah. this one even. Like it has a skinnier yeah. part right here, uh, less body, and then the hook section was not quite as nice yeah. as this one is. So it's like a downgrade of this. And, um, because it doesn't fish the way intended, because it looks like a frog and it's or like a duck and it's supposed to make you want to buy that because ducks are cool, this way, over here. Towards the skitter lizard level yes, it goes. Sir. All right, so that one was garbage. Um, oh, this is a classic. We told you Chase Bates was going to be back. They actually had two more lures that make our list today. Here is the Wiggle Bomb. So the Wiggle Bomb is made with an elastec material. It's a hollow body bait with a super heavy weight up front. And a super heavy hooks. weight? It's heavy. Why? Yeah, because this is a sinking frog bait. Yep, you yeah. heard that right. <laughs> this is called the Wiggle Bomb on purpose. Basically, you bomb cast this thing out there. It hits open water. It sinks slowly, and this tail does this. This tail is... Pretty famous. I mean, it, it works really well. It's a ribbon tail worm. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Attached to a frog, though, very interesting. Now, have I caught fish on this? Yes. Have I caught consistently? Absolutely not. Uh, this one, it ranks a, a little higher. I'd say in like the, you know, I don't know, quarter of the way towards... Yeah. Right, the, right in the quarter I'd, section yeah, of say, our right chart. Right on the side. Yeah. It works in a very limited set of scenarios. Very limited. The limited set of scenarios is where the fish are looking up, but they're not feeding on top yet, and you can't throw it into the pads because when you try and bring it out from under the water, you get hooked up on stuff. Mm -hmm. So it only works as on, works on like the edges of pads, or maybe in completely open water where you would probably use a different bait anyways. If this is the halfway, it's going like right there. Yeah. All right. Here's oh. another one <laughs> from our boys over at Mega Bass. We got the Batra X. Look at this thing. So it's that's a frog a with a crazy kick and tail. That's a hard plastic tail with another double hook rig there. That's on a swivel off the back so that can rotate all the way around. And you have this lip here that is removable. Oh my gosh. What that? You look at this and you go, okay, this crazy convertible transformer-esque rig is obviously <laughs> trash. And you'd be partially wrong because <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a frog. It's not good because it's from Mega Bass. It's oh. good because it's a hollow body bait with an actually decent idea. Thriller hook on a frog or a stinger hook on a frog isn't the worst idea in the world. No. That said, this is obviously designed for more open water conditions. You're not going to be fishing this hook set up here right in the slop of it, right in the pad. So that one's right here in the like probably quarter. Like I, I would this put it side close of close to the half. Okay, close to half. Here's the legit version of that exact same bait. Here's the legit version of this bait. This is the Booyah Toad Runner. Looks insane. Doesn't have the trailer hook, but has like the trailer portion here yeah. and uh, has like almost no feet. So yes, looking a little wild, totally legit. This thing creates a nice little wake. It's really good in open water situations, but this thing is loose and free enough to where even if you're running over some pads, it's still doing its job. And this thing catches darn fish with consistency. So I'd say this goes on like the three quarter side of legit. Not, a, yeah. not, not maybe not the starter step, but legit. So hunted. And then there's the hot rod. So we saw the pink hot rod. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. This is the original color hot rod. So this is a fat bastard frog. I got this. I got many of these. I have three in monster bass yes, boxes. Yes, sir. Uh, and the difference here is you can see there's a little blade underneath that. Stuff. Also, look at the front lip section there. Unique. Very New unique. New York. Very <laughs> unique. New York. Very interesting. <laughs> uh, obviously, these guys aren't the first people to make that no. kind of front end section of a frog, uh, and they won't be the last. So. Looking at this, would you guess it's a gimmick or legit? I would guess gimmick. It is a gimmick, straight up. Uh, I have caught one... Yeah, one blow up with a break off. <laughs> I remember it so clearly. I would have caught a snapping turtle on this. <laughs> yeah. Essentially, I literally, there's a video. <laughs> I'll never forget. I there's a video, we, we were fishing this lake together and I bombed this thing out there. I was like, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a fish on this. Mm -hmm. And I started like just twitching it back to the boat. like. Two twitches in, right off, just back hits the corner. water, yep. twitch, twitch, back corner of this little pond section. It, there's a big, like, swell, just water, just whoosh, right? And then frog gone, line, slack, mm -hmm. <laughs> like there's nothing on it, immediately gone. Get Bottom naked. end. Not, quarter, not, probably the quarter. Quarter. It's a frog. It's still a frog. Yeah. It, I'm sure it can catch fish. Still a gimmick. All right. <laughs> you guys have seen this before. I actually did a fishing video with this, and I caught a ton of fish. And I have consistently caught fish on this before. Multiple lakes, multiple times of year. It just works. <laughs> it so does. this is the 13 fishing motorboat. Now, this breaks a few of our 
tips that we talked mm -hmm. about. The original price of this was terrible. It was way high. too high. Now that it's on clearance, it's actually somewhat reasonable. Yeah. Uh, the packaging is insane because it's 13 fishing. So they put a lot of, they invest a lot into their packaging, mm -hmm. marketing, design to catch fishermen as well as hopefully fish. Um, and the first glance, you're like, that's a total gimmick. There ain't no way. Here's the thing. There is a way. This thing catches a ton of fish super consistently. And you could also swap out this blade off the back because you got this little snap right there. So you could totally, uh, I have broken this because it's made of plastic, right? I have broken this in the past. You can swap it out with a legit blade if you want to. It's Willow plastic on, yeah, it's, it's plastic on purpose so that it floats better. Because um, it's a top water bait. Yeah. This is a top water bait. It's made with Elastex type material. It's, it floats, super buoyant. It works. This goes on the upper end of Quarter, the spectrum. Quarter, I think. Because it does, Three quarters it is a little bit unique, but dude, yep. it, it just freaking works, 100%. Yep. All right, one more on just the straight lures. Obviously, there's a million more examples out there. We're just showing you some of the most egregious and ones that we had on hand, so we could actually show you. Here's another one from Chase Bates, gosh dang it. It's a swim bait with a prop in it. Oh now, this gosh. one's tough because when it first launched, it was more expensive. It was not yep. cheap. And if you're looking at this one thinking, is this legit or real? Because it's like a cool idea and, and Chase, <sighs> ah! <laughs> and, Chase Bates is, and Chase Bates is known for making like yep. gimmick looking, but maybe like 50-50 shot on whether it's legit or not. Yep. I have heard from people that I have a lot of respect for that this thing does work and catches fish. I've only fished it once yep. and I'm not a big like glide bait skilled person. So I have like almost no opinion. I, I gave it a good shot on multiple occasions mm -hmm. and I, just couldn't produce on it like I could other glide baits. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's a gimmick. Again, we're listening to other folks that maybe yes. fish it more than us. So they're saying that it can work. I can't see why I would specifically grab this over any other for glide the bait money. I have. For the money. Even on sale, because now you can get it for like 10 bucks now. I'm putting this one on the back corner. Like yep. it, I know it can work. I know it can work but it doesn't work that great. And so I'm putting it more on the gimmick, but it's not a scam. I'm like, putting it just below the halfway knot. Sure, it's not a scam, <laughs> but it's definitely, it's not the most easy to fish, consistent producer. All right, we're going to as seen on TV now. Oh Lord. This is one of the worst examples of an as seen on TV scam that I've ever <laughs> seen in my entire life. So this one is called the Strike Jacket <laughs> EFL. Get all these. Otherwise known as the Fish Condom. You got all these stretchy jackets. <laughs> Jacket. So when your crankbait <laughs> needs protection, you, you stretch this bad boy over. Here's how you know this is a gimmick. First of all, it's this stretchy, elastic, techie material, but it's like from the 1990s. It's it like smells... pre Elastec. Elastec so, figured it out. This didn't. There's so much glitter. It smells terrible. Glitter comes off on your hands. It's super slimy. It is dying on its own. It is eroding. It has been <laughs> on this crankbait doing nothing, just on a shelf. Look at it just falling apart. Just dying. So the, so the action was horrible. Horrible. Rigging it was horrible. Uh, the back treble hook is just not accounted for whatsoever. Yep. There's really no way to make this work the way you want. That's, again, this is the, this is, this maybe could also anchor us. The Skitter Lizard's worse because it's more expensive <laughs> and it's still in production. Uh, let's get to the next most closest thing to SCN on TV. So if you guys haven't heard, there's a website out there. It starts with a T, it's called Tamu. Tamu, so T ends with Tamu. Emu. Tamu. Tamu. <laughs> and what they do is they knock off stuff. They make the cheapest of the cheap and they're sending it to you for a less expensive price. Mm -hmm. Now, some of it is can legit. Work. Some, some of, of it, it can work. Can it can work. work. We, now, will, we will let you guys have that. You yep. Tamu. Some of it does there. work. Uh, now, does it work as good as the original? We haven't found anything that works as good as the original yet, but it does work and it's much cheaper. So you, do, you make your own decisions, but I'm here to show you some examples of uh, what you can find at Tamu that are absolute trash. Mm -hmm. So this is one of them. This is meant to look really cool. There's really neat pictures of on it. It's it a looks, cicada. It's a cicada with two spinning wheels. This thing is absolute. One of which that doesn't spin. Doesn't spin. Absolute dog <laughs> crap. Doesn't fish in any way that would attract a fish. As a matter of fact, I think fish are terrified of it. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and this, you should be able to figure out that this is a gimmick. This can go all the way this way. No good. Yep. Uh, one of the things on Timu is please don't pay attention to the reviews. They, the reviews are totally They're made lies. Up. They're, They're made all up. lies. And They're lies. If there's thousands and thousands <laughs> of five-star reviews on that cicada, it's a total gimmick. The computer hey, wrote all those. Pete, there are some folks on YouTube that specifically like buy this stuff all the time. They know what works and what doesn't. Just do do yourself a solid. Do a search on YouTube and see if somebody's like, oh, I found like a good example. It could yes. be like a dark sleeper knockoff. It could be a chatterbait or a spinnerbait knockoff. Which ours, those are the ones that worked. This one actually yep. worked pretty well. The plopper. So this is yep. the fake whopper plopper. These are like two to three, two to five dollars a piece. And they worked mm -hmm. 
-hmm. pretty well. They're not perfect. They're not nearly the quality of the river to see. They will not hold up as well. The paint jobs will not hold up as well. But they will catch fish. But they will catch fish and they're inexpensive. So go watch our videos if you want to see the reviews on all of this stuff in detail. That being said, this, this is tricky. This is tough because ranking them. You no, know, like figuring out whether these are gimmicks or not. This is, it I think, is. the hardest one because the photos are meant to trick you. The descriptions yeah. are meant to trick you. The price points are the giveaway. But at the same time, we were probably 50, 50, 75, 25. 25 percent of these worked pretty well. 50 to 75 percent did not work, work well enough all. to justify even the low price. Yeah. But like some of the stuff did. So this is hard. I feel like all these kind of fall in the middle yeah. except for the clear gimmicks. These ones, you just need to get someone's opinion who's actually spent the money and tried it. I, I yep. think you're going to have a tough time figuring out otherwise. Here's another example. This is a fake Mega Bass Vitalian that we got off of there. You can tell just by holding it, it's just like the cheapest type of plastic you could ever have. Like, there's if, not enough coatings and blah, blah, blah. If you were like walking up the, the boat ramp and this fell out of your kayak and it fell 0.5 feet Explosion. to the ground, it would explode into pieces. Yeah. That said, I caught fish on it and it <laughs> swims the way it's intended to swim. So it actually fell into the 25% like of the good. things that worked. Yeah, I agree. So, and you, know, you would never know. Like, you would never know. You wouldn't know. You would, it's so hard. So this one right though, this another Timu one, I, no, absolutely not. So this is the Maytel Masters. <laughs> Coolest song on the internet. Coolest song on the, this one, five out of five stars for song. <laughs> I think it could get a Grammy. I'm not joking. The promo <laughs> vid for this was insane. <laughs>it's a uh, chrome-ish looking reel. It's fully plastic. It feels like garbage. It, it is garbage. Like garbage. You can't adjust it. Nothing worked the way it was supposed to. No. Everything sucked. That said, somebody did comment on it. Mm -hmm. They did send me a video. This was like one of the only scenarios oh, yeah. where somebody sent me a video. And what they said was, you're casting it wrong. You can't cast it like a regular bait caster. And I was like, but it's a bait <laughs> caster. The Tamu lures are going on. All the ones that didn't work are going on this far side. The, the Wobble Plopper, I think it was in the middle. I think it goes in the center. I'd, I'd go above the half for the Whopper okay. flopper, we called sure. it. The Whopper flopper. And then uh, the fake battalion. I'd also All put right it. there, and then the reel yep. should just go all the way off. As I far this that side. way as possible. <laughs> Granted, it was like 20 bucks, but I mean... You wasted $20. Hard agree. You know what is a complete gimmick? <laughs> if we took RoboCop and made him a fish. <laughs> so we have so here <laughs> the robotic fishing lure. Uh, that you literally charge like Frankenstein. So it comes with alligator clips that you attach to these metal things here <laughs> and you charge this baby up, right? It's got a little prop at the front. Mm. And what, I mean, you can put this in your bathtub, check it out. I took it to a lake. I fished this thing. I actually- Under a bobber? <laughs> yes, it, it comes with a bobber. You have to put a bobber on this to set the depth so it'll swim around at whatever depth That's that is. the most insane thing. I cast this thing out there and I put it in multiple spots and I just left it there while I fished other stuff legitimately. <laughs> and this swam in circles while I'm watching bass come up and then immediately dip. They didn't come or check it out? I had like one or two check it out. The rest of them totally ignored it, but they would come up and dip. They're, it's more of like, what the hell is that? Probably, <laughs> probably what is the noise? Because it makes like that's a, what I was about to it say. It makes like an RC boat kind of noise, like a <laughs> ring, and it just swims in circles. These are stupid. They're not. <laughs> they're not cheap either. They're just dumb. Should we do this? Oh god, here we go. This is the one that's gonna get us in trouble. But I don't care. I don't either. This specifically oh. is a box. So this is a Lucky Tackle box. They have a bunch of different boxes. Specifically, this was a one-off, no subscription, Big Bass XL. So I expected, you know, just five or six decent baits. $25 was, in value. I was like, I'll probably get maybe a Strike King in there, maybe something else. Or like a, at least something quality, a spinner yeah. bait, just like yeah. basic bass hunting gear. And I did not. <laughs> so what this is the got, only thing close. Yeah. So the, the only thing that was actually fishable, in my opinion, and a in bass this box, bait. was the HR Baits June Bug Stickworm. And it's a sample pack. They also sent me a, a spoon with like salmon colors. So it's that flashy holographic green from a no-name brand, which means it's... Theirs, maybe? And well, there's, there's almost no description. I think and it's straight up from China and they yes. throw it into a, a blank package essentially is and what they do. Uh, so this like prime baits was a couple of them. There was also these like wizard baits. There's this big catch lures with a super flashy chrome and pink jerk bait. That was actually the second most fishable item in here. And then you get this crazy popper inside a popper inside a <laughs> popper. 
thing. Plus, these are all in obscure colors. So here's the thing. On this, thing. <laughs> this entire box was essentially an AliExpress or a Timu order, and it cost you five times as much. 100%. You should you could have bought this. All this stuff could be one to three dollars exactly. on Timu. And this is this is what you would get. One time I would advocate for Timu. <laughs> <laughs> it also came with a bunch of pre-rigged baits like this little guy in a speckled trout color or something. It's not... The vibrant, vibrant little guy there. So two pre-rig like storm this is style the baits. Wor this is the worst. The, the spoon or this is, this is the worst. And then it came with this big pack of hooks. Big pack? There's like five or six okay. in there. Well, there's like eight. Okay. Then it came with this pack of hooks, which to me at first I was like, oh, like drop shot hooks, circle hooks, They kind of look like a drop shot hook. They kind of look like a drop shot hook. Um, if you were a new angler, this is why you'd be like, what do I, would I do? Be so lost. These are eyeless hooks. <laughs> So they're they're designed. I believe usually this, you see this in like tenkara fishing, maybe carp, maybe catfish. I was thinking. I don't. I don't even know. It's just not a style I've ever fished. I don't even know. So you like you have to like snell knot these, right? Like I don't. I don't even know what to do. I've been fishing for a while. If I were a new angler, I would be. Furious. Well, but there's probably directions on the packaging, though. There were no directions on the. Packaging. There's probably directions in the box, though, right? There were no directions in the box. There's probably a YouTube video from somebody who really knows what they're talking about that explains this to you though, right? I spent time looking up those hooks and I found after a while of searching on Google that there was a few like articles from the early 2000s. <laughs> the early 1850s. <laughs> about <laughs> when and why you would use an eyeless hook. It's a silent video. <laughs> Charlie Chaplin just like. <laughs> on this channel, we have unboxed a hundred easy oh no hundred fishing subscription boxes over the years this was hands down not even close no. the worst box <laughs> i ever got this one rank well it's all it's all the way the all the way there this is, there all, is, this where is it it's hanging out with the maytel master uh and they don't have a song so it's on the other side so there you go that is a big old look here's the graphic look at it <laughs> this is the final boom, review boom, 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 boom. now this is the yes and no but we gave you some tips and tricks yep. to try and figure out what's a scam and yep. what might what might not be a scam because it can be really hard to tell especially with like new tactics mm -hmm. tactics and techniques so like we're getting into like the hover rig and hover strolling you got to pay for its own hook like you maybe got to get your own plastics and yep. some of the jdm stuff so it's like expensive it can be really hard to parse that out so we gave you some tips and tricks to try and figure out scam or legit so that's all we got for you guys in this video thank you so much for watching smash that like be subscribed if you want to see more content that we do throughout the year and then come back for our lives wednesday 8 15 p.m eastern we have a blast there and we'd love to see you all right all right bye